Congratulations on the purchase of your new Manco Power Sports Fun Machine. Before you take to the turf, there are some things you must know about your new vehicle. This video is designed to highlight several of them, however, it is not intended to, nor can it, replace your operator's manual. It's absolutely essential you read and understand all safety and operating instructions in the manual. They're extremely important and must be followed to help prevent injury or damage. The Manco Power Sports Fun Machine featured in this video may be different than yours. Refer to your operator's manual for important specific assembly and maintenance information. Before attempting to ride your fun machine, you must first ensure several setup steps are completed. Your vehicle came with an engine manual and an operator's manual. The operator's manual contains detailed assembly instructions. Parts like the seat and belts, brush bars and padding, and the steering wheel must be properly in place. Do not attempt to ride your fun machine until it is fully assembled according to the instructions. Be sure to put oil in the crankcase before starting the engine. Refer to the engine manual for additional information regarding engine safety and maintenance. To add oil, remove the oil fill plug from the crankcase. Fill the crankcase until the oil reaches the bottom of the threads in the filler neck or until the dipstick shows full. Then replace the oil fill plug. Use quality 30 weight motor oil for changes and refills. Your fun machine may be equipped with a band, scrub or disc brake. Consult your operator's manual for specific maintenance and break-in schedules. To apply the brake, depress the left pedal. This will activate the braking system to slow or stop the fun machine. The brake will wear out from normal use. Do not press the gas and brake at the same time. This will cause excessive wear on the clutch and brake, which will require you to replace them sooner. Before riding your vehicle, you must lubricate the chassis with a few drops of oil. Your operator's manual includes a list of all points to lubricate. Do this before initial operation and after every two or three hours of use. Each time you ride your fun machine, you must perform a pre-ride inspection. The operator's manual provides a detailed list of items to check. If the engine's oil level is not up to the threads in the filler neck or up to full on the dipstick, add oil. Check all fasteners and lock nuts. Tighten or replace any that are loose or missing. Refer to the operator's manual regarding the use of prevailing torque lock nuts. Substituting the wrong fasteners can impair the safe operation of the vehicle. Check the air pressure and condition of the tires. Keep them inflated to the maximum pressure indicated on the sidewall of the tire. The tires will wear out from normal use and may need to be replaced periodically. Inspect the throttle system. On fun carts, the pedal on the right should move forward and return smoothly to its idle position. On mini bikes, the twist grip throttle should snap back to idle when released. If it does not snap back to idle, lubrication or adjustment may be necessary. Add fuel to the fun machine in an open area outdoors. Be careful not to get fuel on the hot areas of the engine when refueling. Replace the fuel cap securely. Move the fun machine at least 10 feet from the fueling area before starting. If the vehicle is equipped with a parking brake, set it before starting the vehicle and test the parking brake as described in the operator's manual. With the engine running, apply the brake. Gently increase the engine's RPM. If the fun machine moves or the brake does not hold, consult your operator's manual for adjustment or replacement instructions. Test the engine's remote stop switch. With the engine running, move the switch to off. If the engine does not stop operating, consult your operator's manual. Do not operate a fun machine that does not have a working remote stop switch in the proper location. Just like an automobile, your vehicle requires routine maintenance to keep it running at its best. Refer to your operator's manual for the recommended maintenance schedule. Professional service may be required. Your fun machine has either a torque converter or a centrifugal clutch for a drive system. To move the vehicle, both systems engage as the engine speeds up and disengage at idle speeds. If your vehicle is equipped with a torque converter, check the following items. The belt should be dry, straight, and free of cracks or frays. 
the drive and drive pulley should be parallel. All friction bases should be smooth and clean, and all sliding metal surfaces should be lightly greased. Your vehicle may have a centrifugal clutch instead of a torque converter. There are no belts in the centrifugal clutch system. It's important that you oil the clutch bearing each time you ride the fun machine. The clutch will eventually wear out from normal use, and failure to oil the bearing will accelerate this process due to excessive heat. Fun machines use a chain to drive the wheels. Check the chain tension after the first two hours of initial operation. There should be no more than one half inch of chain flex between the two sprockets. If there is, the operator's manual provides instructions for adjusting the tension. Check the tension regularly. Do not over tighten the chain as that could cause clutch bearing damage. You must also lubricate the chain. Use a graphite based lubricant. Grease or oil will trap dirt and cause premature wear. Now that we've considered several setup and maintenance items concerning your fun machine, let's review some important safety issues. This vehicle has been designed for recreational off-road riding. It is not licensable and is not to be operated on any public road, street, highway or alley. Do not ride in any area intended for automobiles or where such traffic may be expected. The vehicle may only be operated on private property and in areas approved by local law. It is neither designed nor intended for racing or for use on rental tracks. Some fun machines can be used in charity events and only while such events are professionally managed, specially sanctioned and where the vehicle's engine and drive system have not been modified or altered. The operator must be of sufficient age, understanding, mental capacity and physical capability to safely operate the vehicle. Safe operation also includes responsibility for the safety of a passenger in a two-seat cart. All operators and passengers must be able to exercise proper judgment. The operator and passenger must not be too small or too large for controlled operations. Do not drive on rough terrain or sloping ground. Although some carts come with headlights, they're for decorative purposes only. Fun machines are intended for use in daylight hours with good visibility. Never attempt any form of stunt riding, such as spin-outs, donuts, or jumps. These maneuvers can lead to loss of control and possible injury. The vehicle is not designed for riding in extreme conditions. Ride in a clear off-road area where there are no obstacles such as parked cars, trailers, buildings, trees, or other structures that might create a driving hazard. The operator of a vehicle and the passenger in a two-seat cart must wear a properly fitting DOT or Snell approved motorcycle type helmet along with a face shield or goggles, long pants, shoes and other protective clothing. Riders must never put their arms or legs outside of a fun machine while it is in motion and a driver's hands must be on the steering wheel at all times. Before operating the vehicle, be sure all long hair, loose clothing and jewelry are constrained so they can't get caught behind the seat or in the surrounding environment when riding. This is important for both the operator and any passenger in a two-seat cart. New drivers must be properly trained on the operation of the fun machine. They must be able to effectively operate the throttle and brake mechanisms, know how and when to use the engine stop switch, and be coordinated in their steering control efforts. This information must be studied. It does not come from simply showing a new rider which pedal is the throttle and which is the brake. The restraint system is equipped with a belt recoil feature. It must be kept in operating condition so that a belt does not fall outside of the seat area and possibly get caught in the drive system, under a tire, or in the surrounding environment. This could lead to loss of control and possible injury. In a two-seat cart, if there is no passenger, keep the unused belt buckled to itself never attempt to put a single seat belt and shoulder harness around more than one person. Restraints must be properly used by the operator and passenger in a two-seat cart at all times. To ensure safe operation, children using the fun machine must be supervised by an adult at all times. An adult must learn to operate the vehicle before permitting a child to operate it. And all learning must be performed in a level, unobstructed area to gain understanding and confidence about the fun machine's operation. When making turns, always slow down. 
the vehicle should be moving slower as the turn gets sharper. High speed turns can cause instability and loss of control. Small children who do not have the physical and mental capacity to protect themselves must neither operate a fun machine nor ride as a passenger in a two-seat cart. No one must ever ride a fun machine except in a seat designated for the rider in the seat's normal position. Never stand or sit on any part of the frame to ride the cart. There are no passengers allowed on any minibike. Neighbors, friends, or other guests must never be permitted to drive or ride in the vehicle unless instructed and qualified by an adult, as discussed in this video. A person being unfamiliar with the vehicle or the riding area may result in injury. No one shall operate or ride in the fun machine while under the influence of alcohol, drugs, medication, or physical impairment. In addition to the operator's manual, there's an engine manual provided by the engine's manufacturer. The engine manual must be read and all instructions about preparation, fueling, using and maintaining the engine must be followed. Never attempt to change the governed top speed of the engine. Always ensure that the idle speed is low enough to prevent engagement of the drive system, resulting in unintended movement of the vehicle. Before storing the fun machine, allow the engine to cool. Do not allow any spilled oil or fuel to accumulate in the storage area. If the vehicle is to be stored for more than 30 days, follow the storage instructions in the operator's manual. We've given careful consideration to guarding critical areas of our fun machines. The guards, covers, and pads on the vehicles are there to help protect the users. These items must be kept in good condition and in place while the fun machine is being used. Any damaged or removed guard must be replaced before operating. The brush bars are an important element of the design and must be intact and properly secured before using a fun cart. Warnings and instructions regarding safe operation are emphasized in different parts of the operator's manual. All of them were not discussed in this video and they must be fully understood by everyone who's going to ride or supervise the riding of a fun machine. As a reminder of certain important topics, warning decals have been placed in various locations on the vehicles. These warnings must be heated to ensure safe riding. Congratulations again on the purchase of your new Manco Power Sports Fun Machine. By following the above guidelines and those spelled out in your operator's manual, you're assured hours of off-roading fun. Please make sure you fill out and return your warranty certificate. If you need parts or warranty service, call or take the vehicle back to the dealer from whom it was purchased. Thank you for purchasing a Manco Power Sports product. As the largest manufacturer of off-road fun carts and mini bikes in the United States, Manco Power Sports offers a diversified line of fun machines for all ages and budgets. Whether this is your first Manco Power Sports machine or your fifth, Manco Power Sports already has your next vehicle waiting for you. Don't miss any of the excitement. Here we go again.